Keep it clean before we get into this. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on, and leave a like on the video so you do not miss anything and you can stay updated with everything going on with the Baltimore Ravens and just the NFL in general. So, last night, oh, well, actually, yesterday, yesterday, free agency started. It is the legal tampering period, but free agency started. And for the Baltimore Ravens, it was very, very slow. Nothing was going on, nothing was happening. They weren't signing anybody. And then, after a couple of hours, they had guys start departing, start agreeing to deals with other teams like a Geno Stone, like a Gus Edwards, like a Ronald Darby, like a John Simpson. Uh, but then they finally signed one of their own back. That was Malik Harrison. But we had all been wondering what's going on with Derrick Henry? What's happening with Derrick Henry? What's going on with the King? Not T.I. though. But anyway, um, we had heard nothing. We saw different running backs getting signed. We saw different running backs getting deals, but nothing was going on with Derrick Henry. Nothing was happening with the Baltimore Ravens. But then we finally got our first report on Derrick Henry. And it said that the Baltimore Ravens had been in contact with Derrick Henry. So it was like, all right, cool. So then following that report, we got another report that made it sound even better. It said, oh, but Derrick Henry is, the Baltimore Ravens are interested in Derrick Henry, but Derrick Henry is also interested in the Baltimore Ravens. So there's mutual interest. So we were like, oh, okay, this is setting up nice. Then... One last report came out that made things a little bit scary. And that was when the report came out that the Baltimore Ravens had offered Derrick Henry uh, about 6.5 mil per year. And the reason why that was scary, and we explained it in last night's video, is because when numbers start getting leaked out, that's a business move. And we know business moves happen because this is what? It's business. So we get it. But when numbers start getting leaked out, to me, that lets uh, other teams know like, hey, you got a better offer for me? You, we, we gonna talk some better numbers than what I'm getting from this team? If so, hey, let's get it. Let's make it happen. I'm still available and I'm still interested to talk more money. And guess what came out this morning? <laughs> oh, man. oh boy, it came out this morning that the Baltimore Ravens are not the only team interested in Derrick Henry. And they are not the only team that has been in conversations and talks with Derrick Henry. So if that wasn't bad news enough, it got worse because it said that the team that was also talking to Derrick Henry was the Houston Texans. Oh. And the reason why that is so scary is because the Houston Texans, they were heavy, heavy in the mix for Saquon Barkley. And they were only about a million off of what they were willing to pay Saquon Barkley but versus what the Eagles were willing to pay. And the Eagles were, pay, were willing to pay about a million dollars more, so they ended up landing Saquon Barkley. And what that number was, that number was for, for about 11 or 12 mil. That was the difference. It, the, the difference was about a mil. So with that being said, the Texans, they've already shown with their willingness to give Saquon Barkley that much money. Now, we know Saquon Barkley and Derrick Henry are different running backs for sure. But... They've already shown if they willing to spend that money. And the thing about it, they're not only willing to spend it, but they got a lot of salary cap. They, I, know, I don't remember the exact number, but I know Texans got like this crazy amount of salary cap space. And that team is setting up nice, man. They, they really are. They, they came on the scene last year and they did their thing. And this could be big payback. To the Baltimore Ravens for last year Even though last year is last year And last year is done We know the Texans season It both started and ended in Baltimore And Texans could do the Ravens real nasty Because with as far as Derrick Henry's hopes They could start with the Baltimore Ravens But they could end uh, with him going to the Houston Texans Because that is a real, real possibility um, and Now there is still obviously hope that the Baltimore Ravens get it done, but just to be straight up, and I know some people may say, oh, that sounds negative. No, it's not negative. It's just being straightforward. To be straight up, if it comes to a bidding war between the Texans and the Ravens for Derrick Henry, oh, you can cross them off the Ravens list. You can cross them off the Ravens list because Texans, they, they got, the Ravens cannot mess with Texans' money right now. They really can't. Ravens could do some stuff, and then they have to. They of course got to do some restructures and whatnot. Odell Beckham Jr. most likely probably going to get cut uh, in a couple days. But if it comes to a bidding war, it's just Tex Texans going to win that all day right now, all day. Um. So I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Time is ticking with this whole Derrick Henry thing. I, I think, just my opinion, and I said this last night too. I think we'll get a. We'll definitely get a decision today 
on where Derrick Henry is going to end up. Now, something else to think about with Derrick Henry. He did not leave the Tennessee Titans on a bad note. He didn't leave them on no sour note. It ain't no bad blood or nothing like that. Even on his way out, his very last game of the season, he grabbed the mic. A lot of fans had already left, but he had grabbed the mic. He was like, thank you to all the Titans fans. Thank you for changing my life. Thank you for all your support. He gave a nice little speech on his way out. So it ain't no bad blood. It ain't like, oh, these guys, they ended on bad terms. But for the opportunity to play the Tennessee Titans at least two times a year. That adds a little to um, what it would be like to play for the Texans for Derrick Henry. And to just give, a, give Titans fans and Titans team a reminder like, hey, I still got it. And I'm going to show you twice a year. And then thinking about that, to, to not only be giving the Titans a reminder, but to be on what's going to be a really good team. In the Houston Texans Like CJ Stroud is not like Just because he could possibly Go there for more money It would not mean that he would be settling Cause the Texans are They gonna be nice man They were nice last year I mean Ravens show like Hey we, we better than your butt The Texans are still nice They got a nice little squad over there So Derek, Re Derek Henry could have a lot of reasons To go there but straight up when it comes to money Ravens can't touch whatever the Texans uh could possibly be offering so I I just think and then this morning didn't help either this morning didn't help either because again I, I Ravens ain't leaking no numbers for contract talks with Derek they're not gonna leak any numbers because it doesn't benefit them at all it, it, does, it wouldn't benefit the Baltimore Ravens to leak contract details at all. It would only benefit Derrick Henry because he could look at somebody else, look at, talk to another team and say, hey, y'all do better than this, and I'm there, and I'm with you. So he could take that number. He, he could take the Ravens number, shop it around, and somebody else could offer better. Then he could take that number back to the Baltimore Ravens and say, look, hey, look what this team is offering. Y'all willing to do this? And if Ravens are, okay, cool. If Ravens aren't, then okay, cool. That would be that. Now, this morning – with Aaron Jones, who was cut from the Packers yesterday. This morning did not help <laughs> that Derrick Henry number whatsoever. And what I mean when I say that is because Aaron Jones is signing with the, the Vikings on a one-year deal for $7 million, worth up to $7 million. Now, of course, um, $7 mil might not even be the base. It probably won't be the base, but it's a deal worth up to $7 million. So if he got one year, $7 mil, and the Ravens are apparently offering Derrick Henry a deal, probably a multi-year multi deal, probably like a two-year deal, something like that, maybe three, but probably a two-year deal, worth 6.5 per. <laughs> Derrick Henry going to look at that and say, uh, hello, Aaron Jones, look, look at that. Look at my numbers, look at Aaron Jones' numbers. Look at my availability, look at Aaron Jones' availability. Even though he don't miss much time. He missed a couple games last year when I think they thought – he thought he had a torn ACL or something, but it, he didn't have a torn ACL and came back and <laughs> literally ran all over the Cowboys. But anyway, um, Derrick Henry could look, he could show that to the Ravens, show that to really whoever, Ravens, Texans, he could show that to both of them and be like, oh, yeah, um, I, I need better than that. Y'all got to come harder than that for sure. So let, let me know what y'all want to do. So I just, um, I hate to be the bearer, not necessarily of bad news, but yeah, I just don't think it's looking good for Derrick Henry and the Ravens right now. I don't. Anything could, of course, happen, and I would love for them to prove me wrong because I know I've seen a lot of people saying, oh, man, how could Eric DaCosta offer Derrick Henry 6.5 mil per year, but he offered Odell Beckham Jr., who hadn't even played in over a year, he had offered him uh, – a deal worth $18 million. How, that don't make no sense, Eric DaCosta. What are you doing, huh? What's that? How could you lowball Derrick Henry but then offer Odell Beckham Jr. something like you did last year? What, what kind of GMing is that? I've seen that question floating around a lot. Situations are completely different. One, the wide receiver market is completely different than the running back market. And even if you take that out, Odell Beckham Jr. was to get their franchise quarterback, Lamar Jackson, signed. Derrick Henry is not to get Lamar Jackson. So Lamar Jackson's locked up. He's locked up and locked in. He's here. That's it. That, that, that's done. So this Derrick Henry comparison to Odell Beckham Jr., in my opinion, that should not be a comparison at all because the two have literally nothing 
to do with each other. So just wanted to to clear that up. But um, yeah. So again, I I just don't think it's looking good for the Ravens with getting Derrick Henry. So we can say Ravens would have to do some hard selling, um, some very hard selling, uh, to get Derrick Henry, in my opinion, because what they would need to do um would just be to talk, really talk about success and how close they are, how close you can tell that they are. Um, and I mean, we all see that. It's obviously the Ravens are very close. They just, they got to get over that hump. That hump being the Chiefs, they got to get over that hump. And really, you know what? Honestly, especially after watching that, the AFC Championship game, the hump wasn't even the Chiefs. The hump was the Baltimore Ravens. They didn't even... And it's crazy because they didn't even give themselves a chance in that game. But even down to the very end, they were in that game the whole time. Even though they were playing exactly who they are not. They were not being themselves. So they, it's like they were trying to take themselves out the game. But with how great the team was, they kept themselves in the game. So with Derrick Henry, you would hope that what he can bring to the Baltimore Ravens, that's what you got to sell him on. What he can bring to the Baltimore Ravens. Like, hey, you, like, we saw what you did with Tennessee. With Baltimore Ravens' offensive line, it would ex be expected to be better. We got to get our guard situation worked out first. Um, you you would be on a team that well, you would continue to be featured. But um, we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see what the, these Baltimore Ravens do. I don't want to even talk too much if, if Derrick Henry don't even end up coming to the Baltimore Ravens. So we'll see, man. I, I again, I, my doubts on him coming to the Baltimore Ravens are very are very uh, high. I highly doubt that he comes to the Baltimore Ravens now, especially if the Texans are interested. Um, but, again, anything is still possible. So, we'll wait. We'll wait it out and <laughs> see what goes down, whether we get that notification and say, hey, the Baltimore Ravens agreed to a two-year, three-year deal. We're running back Derrick Henry or the Houston Texans get their guy. <laughs>